Yes, Bethesda's much anticipated death loop is here, finally breaking free of its own loop of delayed release dates and waking up next to an effervescent Andy McDowell. Now, realistically, you've had a lot of time to get up to speed with this game since its initial announcement way back at E3 2019, but in case you're still asking, what is death loop? No, it's not the nickname of a poorly maintained roller coaster or the pesky piece of cereal that tried to choke your granddad. <coughs> From Arcane Studios, the developer of the Dishonored series and 2017's Prey reimagining, Deathloop is the time-bending tale of a man stuck in a mind-melting Groundhog Day murder marathon and his attempts to kill his way out of it. Here's everything you need to know about Deathloop. The premise of Deathloop is simple. To escape a 24-hour time loop, main man Colt must kill the eight enigmatic visionaries that run the creepy island of Black Reef in a single day. Instead of learning to play the piano or teaching himself French, Colt's dream is the perfect killing spree, and he'll seemingly stop at nothing to nail it. Die or fail to get all eight, and Colt's day starts all over again, and everyone he's shot, stabbed, or kicked off a ledge is resurrected as he wakes up alone on a deserted beach all over again. Black Reef is split into four different environments, and Colt has enough time in his day to make four trips per day into whatever combination of these environments he chooses. Of course, with time for just four visits, yet eight targets to kill, Colt must figure out a way to snuff out multiple targets at each location and to maximize his murders per minute ratio. In other words, progress through Deathloop is a steady journey of experimentation as Colt explores each level at different times of day to uncover both the routines of his targets and the clues and weapons that will make his seamless assassination spree possible. Now, while Colt is on a non-negotiable one-day deadline for his lethal ballet across Black Reef, keep in mind there's no strict time limit on any of your four visits per day to the island's key locations. This means you have as much time as you want while you're in each level, as time only progresses when you eventually choose to leave a level or die. This means stealthy players are free to be as patient as they'd like, picking their way through each map from the shadows without the pressure of a countdown clock. And everyone is free to explore every corner of each spot for as long as they want, or at least as long as they're able to survive. Our advice is don't prolong your first loop too long. There's not a lot to be gained from schlepping around all over each map on your first trip, finding secret powerful weapons, until Colt gets the ability to retain his weapons from loop to loop. But know that there's a lot to learn and find in Deathloop, and it seems Colt has plenty to uncover before he'll be able to pull off his successful loop-busting rampage. The key difference between Colt and his victims is that while Colt retains his memories from loop to loop, his parade of potential victims do not, regardless of how many times you encounter and even kill them every day. Well, all except for one, Juliana. As Colt's rival, Juliana is resolved to protect the time loop by killing Colt, and she appears to be the only other person on the island who retains her memories through each loop. By default, Juliana is an AI-controlled character who will arrive without warning on any of Deathloop's maps and try to kill you, unless you kill her first or successfully engineer an escape. The twist, however, is that Juliana can also be controlled by another player if you choose to allow it, meaning strangers or even so-called friends could drop into your game, kill you, and ruin your day just when things were getting interesting. Another thing to keep in mind is that regardless of whether you decide to let other players invade your game or you leave Juliana's interruptions to the AI, in Deathloop there's no way to save your progress while mid-mission. Colt does have a special ability called Reprise that allows him to die twice during a level before a third and final death resets the day back to the beginning. But by and large, Deathloop is built to encourage players to embrace Black Reef's mysterious time loop and learn to improvise and persevere. Colt's reprises do reset between maps, so you don't need to get through an entire day without dying more than twice, but know that you won't be able to save scum your way through the environments in Deathloop. You'll need to do things the old-fashioned way, with two lives left in the tank. <laughs> Un 
surprisingly, Colt's reprisability is far from the only supernatural shenanigans in Deathloop, and Colt will have access to a number of other special powers provided he can wrench them from the cold, dead hands of his dangerous enemies, several of which Dishonored veterans may find quite familiar. These powers include a short-range teleport, a force-like ability to toss enemies around like Star Wars stunt doubles, the ability to become invisible, and several more. Powers can even be upgraded by re-killing your targets on subsequent loops and acquiring their powers more than once. Colt's weapons can also be upgraded with various perks, and even Colt himself can be buffed with better abilities if you find them, including things like a double jump, a faster sprint speed, and improvements to his health recharge. Sure, there's no ice sculpting, but this is Black Reef, not Puxatawney, and Colt is a stone-cold killer, not a weatherman. The only weather Colt is interested in is whether he should shoot fools in the head or the chest. For more on Deathloop, check out our review, and for everything else, stick with IGN.